for today's episode here on NTV Houston. Among us today, we have a star who has several talents under her belt. She's a writer, an author, an Indian classical Kathak dancer, and she's an animator. So without further ado, please put your hands together and help me welcome Kashish Kalitha. <laughs> Put your hands together for Anjana and Mridal Kalita. Hello and welcome to our show, Little Superstar. How are you feeling today? I am super excited and I love this set. It is so gorgeous. And I love how you did the lighting and the glow and the different colors. I love it and wow, I'm so babe. excited. You know, yes, up to Achibatogi, but what I am loving is you and your dress. It is so beautiful. Thank you so much. I love your hairstyle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, how do you feel today? Yeah, feeling good. We, I'm still in pro processing that we are here. A very excited, very gorgeous set, and you're looking very pretty. Thank, thank you for inviting us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to our show, and thank you for bringing this little talented person. Which I'm gonna talk to you real quick, but pehle sawal jo jata hai parents ke liye jata hai. Mujhe bataye how was Kashish when she was growing up? Yeah, so um, when she was little, like eight nine months, and I saw when we have some toy, she was playing with the toy, all the musical toy, and I saw her dancing mm -hmm. all every single music. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she is struggling with some of the music, and the moment the music comes and she start dancing with the big smile, broad wow. smile on her face. And I, we kind of were very observant that time mm -hmm. that uh, she's she's having that interest, and we were very excited that she she dance. Uh, and then sometime when we click her photo, especially her father, uh, she gives some poses, and uh, so we saw all those things. Mm -hmm. Right, she was in one year or two year wow. old, and. Uh, I can I see the spark in her eyes and right. all the imaginary ideas coming out from her mouth and we were like okay she is going to somewhere else mm. she is excited to do all these things right. and um, that's how uh, she get in, entered into those So acts. she was a born star yeah. you were already doing your dances you were already posing so we we they already knew that you were going to do something in life uh, associated with dancing and maybe modeling and acting and all that Okay, so what were your experiences when you used to see her? Okay, you know, she's already, you know, moving and posing. How was your reaction and what were your thought processes? I think I was, uh, as my wife Anjana, she said, I think uh, both of us are very observant, first mm -hmm. of all. And I think because of that, we are able to pick up, uh, you know, early signs of it. I think there's well. a saying, like, you see the signs early on. Right. Um, so we, uh, once in a while, we used to feel like, oh, maybe it's a chance. Um, and um, I have a tendency to look for patterns. Right. So eventually I feel like no, it's not chance, it's not just coincidence, it's repeating. different different occasions. So we just have to pay attention and maybe give her some room to grow mm -hmm. in. And I think whether it's few months and I think within first couple of years, uh, I think she did her first performance was when she was just little three, literally in front of the entire audience on a stage. Wow. Um, so That's were you nervous? I, I, I don't think you remember. Do you remember your first performance on stage? Um, I do remember, but I don't exactly remember how I felt like. Right. But I kind of guarantee that I was pretty excited. Pretty excited, not nervous? No. What about now that when you perform on stage, because you have been, right, ever since the age of three. So now when you go on stage, are you nervous? Thoda bhot bhi ya nahi, not at all. Like, 
like very, very little because I perform with my group and then sometimes I perform solo, but I always feel like really excited. Okay, so this is just excitement, my nervousness puri mask ho jati hai. Very well, very well. Okay, I am going to come back to your dancing, but really quickly, I want to touch a very important topic, which is you have published your own book. Is that true? Yeah, sure is. Sure is. So how? It's just I can't even. Comprehend the fact that you, at the age of ten, have nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. Okay. Okay. Nine. Okay. <laughs> at the age of nine, have written a book and published it. So tell me about that journey. How did you come up with? Chalo, my book likh diyo. So actually, funny story. Mm -hmm. There was this uh, reading competition right. at my dad's office. Office. And I actually won first place by reading 81 books, and I won a hundred dollar gift card. 81 books in how long? Uh, I guess. Was it like a summer month? thing, like couple months? It was 40. Like, so the competition was like 25 books a uh, kid has to read in uh -huh. 40 days time, um, uh, and of their grade or above. Oh wow! Uh, but she's a she's a voracious reader. Uh, okay. She loves books. She I think that time she spent like. Two to three hours every day, just yeah, reading them, yeah. and that's how it was. So, 81 books in 40 days. You know, you need to teach me or train me in reading because I absolutely hate reading. <laughs> really, like you know, you can never have me read. Uh, even in high school, when they would give us projects, uh, I'm sorry if my teachers are watching. <laughs> uh, even in high school, uh, you know, you have projects where they want you to read and then write an essay on it. Uh, uh no. If there was a movie on that book, I would actually go rent the yeah. movie, watch the movie. And just write my paper on it because I refuse to read, and I feel like if I would have read, maybe I could have published a book just like you. So now I'm jealous. <laughs> I guess you should be. But <laughs> I guess you should be. Yeah, okay. I am. I really am. So continue. So then, okay. So that happened, and then how did that lead to you writing your own book? What happened there? As I read the book, mm -hmm. I like really, really, like really liked the. Punctuation, the capitalization, the phrases, mm -hmm. how they hook you up to what's next, right. and how they hook me up, and lastly, how like they bring out the emotion. Right. And I like to read aloud because when I read out loud, it. It, I feel like that I'm really in the scenario. That that world where you <laughs> actually enter that book scenario and you kind of start seeing yourself as one of the characters. Yeah, and so then I decided, okay, I'm going to write my own book. Wow. Okay. And how long did it take for you to write that book? One month. One month. One month. Wow. So were you at it night and day? मतलब thoughts आ रहे आप लिखते जा रहे हो या did you have like a dedicated set time to write a book every day? I guess I don't really remember having a set time. set time. Right. But whenever I did get the chance to write, I will always write and write and write and write. But at first, my parents did not know that I was writing a book. Wow! So it was a surprise. Yes. Yeah. So, आप लोगों को कब पता चला कि ये बुक लिख रही है? So she one day she came to uh, she used to share whatever she does. And she came to us, and she saw uh, she uh, bring that copy, and we saw that okay. Okay, the mama, papa, they go. I have written the story. Uh, will will you read it? Huh. So, हमने loudly पढ़ा. The the we were reading, and sounds so good. And Mrigul said, uh, Do you want to publish it? Huh. And and you, do you want to be author? And that time she said, Can I publish it? And Vidhu said, "Yes, you can." Oh, and wow. that's how the journey started. So, how old were you when you wrote that book, sweetheart? Eight. Eight. So it was a year ago. Yeah. Wow. So I I heard, and your mommy shared some information too, where they called you at certain uh, you know schools and places where they asked you to give speeches to encourage other kids to write books as well. So yeah. how does it feel being so young and being able to have that? Uh, for say power that you can influence other kids. How does it feel when that opportunity comes to you? 
It's a really great feeling. Mm -hmm. I get a time to express my experience, to tell my journey, and inspire other kids. Mm -hmm. And actually, I do short little videos. Okay. As I was writing a book, I did short promo videos, and my dad actually started my own YouTube channel. Okay, so I see your parents have been very supportive in your journey, yes, right? Yes, very, very supportive. Okay, so tell me this. I see that you have written 35 songs and uh, you are all, also writing two new books which are probably going to come out this year. Yes. So how, because writing a book and writing songs completely two different things. So how does writing songs work for you? Writing songs, well, really... I guess that me loving music and singing mm -hmm. was my birth interest. I was born with it. Okay, all right. And like my mom said, every time I listen to music, mm -hmm. I always just pick up a beat and I always dance to it. Okay. And really, I love singing so much, I started writing songs, Perfect. my own songs. At first, they weren't really that good, but then I kept writing and writing and writing, and eventually I was like a real pro. Pro. <laughs> so that's how you get into the pro business, right? You have to keep practicing and practicing and practicing, and then eventually one day you're at that level where you can finally feel like a pro and teach others where you are at right now. Because yeah. you are finally teaching everybody how you're doing it all at the age of nine. Got it. In fact, she has a song in her this book. Uh huh. She can show that book. And that's the book you published. Yes, one positive thought. Wow, you guys. All right. So, what is that book about? I'm so sorry, I haven't read it because I recently discovered you and your talent. But I'm definitely gonna read it. But tell me a little something about your book. So this book is mainly about a little girl, like at an age of seven. Mm -hmm. She believed in magic. Okay. But everyone was like not really believing in magic mm -hmm. and they didn't really believe in her. But this story is about how she actually managed to prove them. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> I have so much more to talk to you about all the other talents. I have a complete list of them. But before that, Mridil, do you have any message for the audience? Audience. Yeah, I do. I think uh, I think uh, I actually touch base upon you have to be very observant with your kid. I'll right. say like um, uh, I think this is something that I've learned from my one of the coaches and they mentioned that it is very important to build the character of a kid rather than completely focusing on uh, their future because most of the time we are so focused on building the future. Mm -hmm. We forgot that there are so many other attributes which actually build the character of right. a kid which is a lot of other stuff. It's not just the moral character like great attitude, confidence, all those things. Mm -hmm. If you build that very thoroughly, no matter which uh, you know future your kid picks up, they will be successful. So it's a foundation. So, thoda sa I'll say ki you know stay away a little bit from the academic lens and use a second lens. When you look your kid through that second lens, you will see a lot of different things in your own kid. You will actually right. re kind of rediscover your kid because right. they have so much of things to share and be con uh, have a conversation kind of style with them. That's how we have discovered so many things in her. Very so well. that's all about it. Well, break your spar. We're going to have Kashish's mentor, Jasmita Singh. So, kahi mat jayega, bane rahega. We will be right back after this short commercial break. Hum hai Manpasan Supermarket, where fresh vegetables, spices, frozen fruit items, you will get the price of all the best price. And you will get the meat of the halal zabiha. Dam, Manpasan. Naam, Manpasan. So why don't go to Manpasan? Located at Wilkris Drive, Houston, North Highway and William Cannon Drive, Austin, Texas. So remember the name of Manpasan Supermarket. 59 और वेस्ट बेल्फर्ड पर है नुक्कड़ धावा जहां के मशहूर जमाना बॉम्बे तंदूरी चिकन पहाड़ी बोटी चिकन बोटी चिकन चटपटा और बटर चिकन तो आप जानते ही होंगे अगर आप बॉम्बे चाइनीज खाना आप पसंद करते हैं तो जरूर उनके चिकन लॉलीपॉप और चिकन चिली ट्राई करिएगा और एनटीवी ह्यूस्टन का नाम लेने पर स्पेशल है 1.99 में कॉन्सू 
सुबह आठ से लेकर रात के दो बजे तक लुक्कड़ ढाबा आपके खिदमत के लिए खुला होता है फॉर टेक आउट एंड अदर इंक्वायरीज कॉल टू एट वन फाइव सेवन फाइव वन वन सेवन एट एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ वेस्ट वेलफर्ट एंड फिफ्टी नाइन लुक्कड़ ढाबा शुगरलैंड की सबसे बड़ी सुपरमार्केट अलरबा वर्ल्ड फूड 61,000 स्क्वायर फीट पर फैला देसी और विदेशी शॉपिंग के लिए वन स्टॉप शॉप जहां ग्रोसरी से लेकर ब्यूटी सर्विसेज तक बैंक से लेकर होम फर्निशिंग तक लोकेटेड इन न्यू टेरिटरी एरिया एट यूनिवर्सिटी एंड ग्रैंड पार्क पे ये है वन स्टॉप शॉप डेस्टिनेशन अलरबा वर्ल्ड फूड फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन कॉल आमिर अली एट फाइव When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service, striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just one dollar down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com. After the break, I am your host Pooja, and now with us we have joining Jasmita Singh, the CEO and founder of Jazz Creations. Hello, Jasmita Di. Hi. Well, Di, बोलने की आदत तो जाने नहीं वाली. तो आप कैसे हो? I am just fine. I'm being with you. It's just a great uh, opportunity to It's be here. It's a pleasure so having you on the yeah. set. It's a pleasure, and I see you, today you are here uh, not as just the Jasmita Singh of Jazz Creations, but along with that we also have you as Kashish's mentor. Yes, proud mentor. Proud <laughs> mentor. So we will come back to that. But before that, I always wanted to ask you certain questions about Jazz Creations. So, today is the chance, the tour is so. Can I? Yes, sure. So Will please tell me how did Jazz Creations start? What inspired you to do something like this? So Jazz Creations is a genuine passion first of all and, and uh, I have melded that my homeland experience mm -hmm. of classical Kathak dance and classical vocal music and when I came to this country and, and then I learned Latin dance and salsa mm -hmm. belly dance and I this I just blended melded these two cultures together mm -hmm. and then I promoted the value of creativity in today's entertainment world right. and then I was helping the causes so I actually if you blend both of those things Mm -hmm. that's the mission of jazz creations wow. so it's just raising funds for non-profit organizations by building bridges within the communities through fashion and culture wow. so that's jazz creations basically well. in a nutshell because there's so much more to it as exactly. well exactly so uh, yes tell certainly. me this i also know that you're the president of the icc mm -hmm. organization here so what is that about and how is kashish part of it <laughs> So ICC is India Culture Center mm -hmm. and it's been you know ICC has been uh, it's a non-profit organization mm -hmm. and has been promoting culture for last 47 years. So um so the ICC is actually um we have introduced couple of new clubs okay. to ICC which is one is um ICC Youth Club and one wow. is ICC Women's Club. Really? So um it is the mission of icc is to promote educate and um, unite all the india's and rich to diverse cultures mm -hmm. and to serve all the communities in greater houston so we are uh, actually doing all of that stuff so now youth club she is our first member of our icc youth wow. club and uh, what we want to do we want to give the platform to all the youngsters as well as all the youth you know uh, the how to put the event together right. and leadership roles you know and then uh, we are going to bring some speakers to educate them which career they can choose you know yeah. so whatever the questions they have they can always ask these questions Very and well. then uh, especially you know if they get to um, mc the show they get to plan wow. the show they will get to you know see the budget how much budget goes right. in the show and then they will raise the funds as well as uh, you know different non-profit organizations mm -hmm. they get to 
um, you know, um, create awareness among a lot of pe other people, whatever yeah. the issues they're passionate about. You know? So along with all the extracurricular activities, they also get to learn more about responsibility exactly. and how to do certain things at the position of management, if yes, I must say. exactly. Very well, Kashish. I see you have a crown on. So what's the story behind that? Are we a pageant winner? Yes, we are. Okay, mm -hmm. and what was the pageant uh, that you participated in? The pageant was... Miss Bharat, mm -hmm. Ayut. Uh, it's a Bollywood shake-off mm -hmm. they organized in 2019. And she participated. They have a uh, age group 5 to 8 and right. then teen ages. And you won. Yeah, so she was the one winner of wow. that pageant. Yeah. Congratulations. She's my student, by the way, yeah. in modeling class. And uh, she, yes, exactly. First youth modeling student in my, uh, you know, who learned modeling from in me. jazz creation. I'm jazz creation. Wow, so, so how I'm so does proud it of her. Feel? Well, the teacher already answered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how does it feel when aapke sikhaye hue bachche? Of course, you know, I know you have trained so many other women out there, but aapke sikhaye hue bachche jab stage par oh, aise yes. kalakari dikhate hai. Yes. So, I am always very proud. I mean, she was exceptional. I yeah. mean, their parents were dedicated parents oh. and <laughs> always, always behind her and uh, supporting her. And then I love those kind of parents. And uh, the kid is growing. You can see that of how course, much talent you know, she has. Yeah, they, they so, groom as well under exactly, your guidance. Exactly. So I, I was so proud to teach her modeling and she just got it. And then she attended my camps in my summer camps and I'll be you know giving all the summer camp if everything goes fine yeah in future we will be giving more uh, you know camps for the students right. you know for the kids as well as the youth but uh, she excelled all of my expectations and I'm so proud of her and she won the you know the Miss Bollywood mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah. team yeah. so yeah. I was her proud I was just taking video I just came especially for her <laughs> guided what to wear you know how to yeah. walk and she's, she's gonna be showing that you. attitude and the yeah. persona of <laughs> You know, uh, basically a pageant winner because she's all like, you know, yes, doing I her know. poses. Look and the best okay. thing is like they have the three rounds. One is the Indian ethnic round and the talent round and then the western round. Mm -hmm. And the same day they have the Lego competition also. Yes. She won that Lego, Lego. competition first, wow. first place that day. So, so when you uh, compete for Lego competitions, uh, do you have a certain uh, picture in mind or do they give you topics right then and then you have to do it? How does it work? Really, they say that we can make literally anything, anything, okay. anything we want. And so I built a huge kingdom mm -hmm. and I named it Oceana. Really, before this Lego competition came, I already, I was already building so many Lego sets mm -hmm. and stuff. And then I put them all together and made a nice kingdom. kingdom. And you won because yeah. that was your imagination. Of course, you are a writer, so you have a vast imagination. Coming back to modeling, so I see your mentor is here and she is so proud of you. So do you think you could show me some of your modeling moves today? Of course. <laughs> Perfect. So Kashish ki modeling. Uh, I am super excited and I hope you are excited as well. Yep, me too. All right, let's watch it. Well, that was amazing. You totally rocked it. The confidence in you and your body language was just amazing. <laughs> so now I know what you mean that she just gets it because yes. I could see it. 
So how did you feel while you did that? I felt really good. I was just doing my own thing <laughs> and I enjoyed it. Yeah, because now you have that confidence put in in you, so you don't have to worry about it. Like you said, you're never nervous. You're always excited. Yeah. Okay, so now I want to cover is dancing. You are an Indian classical Kathak dancer. So how did, well, I already know that dancing came along when you were barely one, you were already moving. But what about the training? Did you take any classes for Kathak? Yes, I did. I started dancing mm -hmm. Bollywood at age five okay. for one year with Miss Dolly Goyal, mm -hmm. Steps for Dancing, and then I moved to Kathak at age six okay. because my teacher suggested it to my mom. Okay. So she signed me up for Kathak. And what I really like about Kathak is that I really like the speed and the tatkar. It's mm -hmm. like tate tate tat, ate tate tat. Uh -huh. I like that a lot. Wow, okay. Because <laughs> you know, I don't see, well now ever since Little Superstar started, I've seen so much talent and people are actually dancing on Kathak and Bharatnatyam. Iske pehle, I never knew that kids of this generation are actually into it and doing it. So hats off to you. I'm very proud of you for doing that. Now, really quickly, do you think you can show me some of those moves as well? Yes. All right. So I you see in a dance performance Kathak. Par, uh, let's go for it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I must say that was fantabulous. Amazing performance, yaar. How do you do all this? I, I just cannot understand the level of energy you have. Really? Just go with the flow. Uh -huh. Just go with the flow like a pro. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, now I'm going to quickly have a quick rapid fire round. Are you ready for it? Yes. Uh, do you love Bollywood? Yes. All right. So uh, we are going to cater some questions towards Bollywood. You ready, ready, ready? Yes, yes. Okay, go. Shah Rukh Khan or Akshay Kumar? Shah Rukh Khan. All right. Deepika Padukone or Katrina Kaif? Deepika. Favorite Bollywood song? Uh, Tum hi ho. Tum hi ho. Oi <laughs> hoi. All right. Um, okay. Do you fight with your friends? Not a lot. Not a lot, but sometimes you do. Yeah. Do you think you're a spoiled brat? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I love the honesty. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what, what does your best day look like? 
My best day is when I have lots of samosas, I go to the pool, I have a party, and I sleep very late and have a movie night. Wow, <laughs> you got me at samosas, girl. You got me at samosas. Okay, uh, do you have a journal? Yes. You write in it? Yep. Every day? Mostly. Mostly, okay. So, okay. Do you like to write about the sad things that happens or the happy things that happens? Both. Both, okay, cool. If you had to pick your next vacation venue, where would you go and why? India, because there is all my other family. All right, a power you want? Uh, reading minds. Reading minds, oh wow. I, you know what I want? Invisibility. I want to literally go spy on people. <laughs> but that's for another day. Uh, if you could ask God one question, what would it be? For everyone to be happy. Oh, wow, that is so sweet for everyone to be happy. But that's not a question, that's like a statement. A question? Mm -hmm. Why is everyone not happy? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> once you have reverse. reverse. Yeah, exactly, reverse, reverse. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you believe in Santa Claus or Tooth Fairy? Santa Claus. Okay, cool, all right. I, I, I thought you were a little confused there. Okay, chocolate cake or vanilla and why? Chocolate, because I love chocolate. All right, she loves chocolate. And that is it for today. There was so much more I wanted to talk about. And what is that? I wanted to give you that gift. Here's a gift of love for you. Oh, thank and you. And there's a gift of love for my little cutie oh, pie. Thank you this so much. Thank you. Yes. Well, it was an absolute pleasure having yes, same three thing. of you beautiful ladies on my show. Thank you so much, Kashish, for gracing us with your presence. You are an absolute talent ka bundle. You have done so much in such a short age and there's so much we couldn't cover as exactly. well. But that's probably maybe for another day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, thank you so much Anjana and Jasmita Di for Thanks gracing us for with your you. presence. Yes, yes. Uh, keep doing whatever you are doing, keep promoting all these kids, you know, instill them with the hard work that you always do. And thank you for being such a fantastic parent that you are, you know, spending so much time and energy exactly. on your kids because this is what we do to help kids move forward in life. That's it for today. This was an amazing episode of our show, Little Superstar, here on NTV Houston. I am your host, Pooja. Then we will see you in the next episode. Par. Until then, bye bye. Dum se dum ki baat kehte hain sach ke saath rehte hain bas aage hi badhte hain na kabhi kisi se darte hain hum hai lekin